fam it's your girl Leah back again with another video and as you can see from the title today's video is another vlog video and today's vlog is my last day at my job that's correct if you follow me on Instagram and snapchat you've been along with me on the journey you know that I have been working up to my two weeks I have given my two weeks notice two weeks ago today and today it has finally come if you don't follow me on Instagram please do Leah Lebon 89 everybody has been hitting my DMs like we feel like we've been on this journey with you I have been counting down the days. who knew that 10 business days 80 hours could last so long but now I'm finally on my last eight hours so I'm about to head into work. I dressed up today because one, I knew I was going to be vlogging this thing. I didn't want to look stupid. And two, because it's like your last day. I want them to remember how fire Talia was every day when she stepped into that office. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions from everybody. Like, are you leaving? Are you leaving your job to do YouTube full time? Is that what you're doing, girl? Congratulations. So many people were hitting the box. And I was like, thank y'all for believing in me so hard that I could do this thing full time. Thank you guys out there. But no, I am not. I am leaving this job for a better opportunity in the same field. So I'm still doing recruiting. I'm still working in HR. I'm still, you know, this same boring HR girl that I was before I'm just gonna do it in a different location but I'm gonna roll with you guys and, and take you through my day of course I can't show you everything because my office is a very confidential office but I'm gonna walk you through and show you my last let me sh I'm, I'm so sad I'm getting rid of this name tag I guess you guys can't really see it that good on sort of picture right now I was looking fire back in these days and this wasn't my first day they let me retake over my my badge photo because I wanted to slay in my badge photo I had in the Outre Bohemia curl hair when I first started this job I wasn't the crochet queen that I am now but they've gotten used to my different styles and when I ease into my new job I'm gonna have to ease them into the Leah Levon vibe because they're gonna know Talia right off bat but let me not ramble on I don't want to be late but what they gonna do fire me let's go So I have now made it to the office and it's like weird because this is the last day in my deck. Now one thing I will not miss is this uptown parking. Now I gotta get my badge. Parking is like all over $150 uptown. I'm not gonna miss having to pay them uptown parking prices. However, I will miss uptown. Now I didn't say this, I'm not gonna be working in Charlotte anymore. So sad face i'm gonna miss where i still live in charlotte honey because i'm not moving to the outskirts of charlotte i am still a charlatan and if i'm going to live anywhere in north carolina of course it was going to be charlotte so i'm going to still live but where i work is a little bit outside of charlotte let me go in turn in my badge and have a good day but like i'm going to miss this view like can we talk, talk about this for a second let me get out the car first let me go in to the job first honey like this view who wouldn't miss this view So now my day is over. It is 5.17 p.m. They let me go home a little bit early. I normally get off at 5.30. And I left at 5, but everybody was giving me my congratulations and sending me off. So everything was good. I did cry a little bit. I did cry. I'm a crier. When stuff changes in life, like you understand. Like some people out there, you get it. It's not like you're sad crying, but you're moving on to a new phase of your life. And if you work 40 hours a week, those people you spend more time with them a lot of times than your family sometimes so you do get a bond whether it's a good bond or a bad bond you still get a bond with somebody and it's sad to let that go but they did give me little treats today they gave me little gifts they gave me wine so I, it, it was a good send off it was a good thing and then I got messages throughout the day today from people still thinking that I am leaving my job to do YouTube full time and once again thank you guys so much for believing in me that I could do this full time but once again I don't think I would ever be a full time YouTuber like I just I don't I don't know I just couldn't imagine myself not being in the corporate world like I know you're supposed to do something you're passionate about as your full-time job and I'm really passionate about YouTube but it's just something about like 
this whole internet thing like I'm old-fashioned I don't know how long internet gonna be around and how long things are gonna be things I'm somebody who needs my 401k I need my benefits I need my medical insurance I need my life insurance. I need everything set up and you know how employers make that all easy in one little benefits package I'm gonna have to figure all that stuff out on my own I gotta be my own person come up with my own thing and I know people who are self-employed say oh I do that all the time but me I don't I gotta. Fi- I would have to figure so much stuff out, but it's not off the table. It's not completely off the table. I will never say never. But I, as of right now, cannot see me being a full-time YouTuber. So now I have made it home for the day. And you guys be wanting to see like a day of the life. They'll always be like, "Vlog more, Talia. Vlog more. We want to see more of your life. We want to be part invested." And I'm like. Y'all really think I got stuff going on. Y'all really think I'm like the Jackie Eye and a makeup Shayla who has that kind of life. I go to work. I work and then I come home and then I'm doing YouTube stuff most of the time which is editing and all that. I'm like basically y'all be wanting to see a day of my life but y'all lives are way more impactful and probably better and, and more things going on than my life. I, I need to get out more. I need to be more adventurous. I put that on my to-do list 2018 and now we are in March. But I did at least do the new job thing. You can't do everything. Baby steps. Baby steps. I've done a house tour before but if you guys you guys always want to see more. You guys when my videos are like what's beyond the stairs? Take us beyond the stairs. Let's do a little beyond the stairs moment. You guys have seen the living room. Those are the stairs. Of course, you guys have seen this before. If you guys saw my last day in the life vlog. But very pristine. And I have to say, my roommate is the reason why this is so pristine. Now, we do have our uh, dining room table that I have literally never eaten at before. Sometimes things are meant to be looked at and not to be, you know, uh, utilized. Um, then we have the kitchen. Typically, this stuff isn't here. But, of course, they gave me gifts at work today and Dunkin' Donuts. And then they took me out to this uh, Thai restaurant. So, that's that. This is my roommate's little office space little little office space she got going on right now she keeps it so pristine the next part of my day is bringing my a dog outside and walking her um, she kind of walks on her own but we do this so as soon as I get home from work I walk her and I don't ever feature fluffy on this channel I've had her for five years but I feel like am I a bad dog mom because I don't feature her enough or am I good dog mom because I keep her out of the slime light I'm keeping her out of the YouTube world getting her out away from all the crazy so yes this is fluffy fluffy is 14 years old 14 I got her when she was nine so I already knew she was a senior citizen when I got her so another little thing they let me take home with me was my name tag they let me take home my little name tag so now it is about 6 30 and i typically post around 6 30 to 7 on monday wednesday if you guys do not know but it's like 6 30 i think the video is ready to go so i'm going to hit publish on it uh, you guys get to see what goes on behind the scenes of posting a video so this is it this is what goes behind the scenes all i literally do is switch the video from and like i said it's like 637 it's somewhere between six I'm never on the dot and then I go from private because of course you guys couldn't see it before to public and then the next thing I do I go on IG and I let you guys know I'm gonna do a better job at IG a lot of times I feel like my IG is basically just telling you guys to check out my new video on YouTube I peep my own self I peep my game I gotta do better with the Instagram thing I gotta show y'all what's really going on in my life I do post a lot more on my IG stories I'm getting better at that but I typically after I do this step I go on and post and tell you guys to check me out every week and typically you guys are good about it you guys are good some of y'all got y'all notification bells on I be peeping it turn them all so y'all can be part of the family i know youtube be playing games sometimes some people don't get your video some people do but if you got your bell on you always do you always get it and this is pretty much my day like i'm gonna really chill like today's a wednesday so my last day is on a wednesday and i don't start my new job till monday so i try to give myself a little bit of leeway like i'm so excited for this next phase of my career like a youtube is always what makes me happy youtube makes me happy on so many levels and i love talking to you guys but my career career is something that you know I strive for I went to school for this I really 
I put a lot of money behind it. <laughs> a lot of money is behind this degree, so I'm going to make sure that it is really worth it. I feel like this week in terms of YouTube, I'm not excited about the content that I put out, truly. I'm be honest with you guys. I'm going to let you guys in on secret. The video I just posted is another wig review. I love doing wig reviews, but of course I love crochet hair stuff more, but I can't do it every single day. You guys know crochet hair stuff I can't do. Like I've had this hair in for a while now. I have to keep crochet hair in for a while, so sometimes my ideas get stale. And this week, I'm be honest with you, wasn't that fond of putting up this video. Monday's video was my AliExpress haul. I have been sitting on that video. If you guys see in that video, I have them cozy deep. I had that hair in in January. I filmed that video in November. November, I filmed my clothing portion. January, I filmed my sit down talking to you guys portion on my stairs. And then to, on Monday, March the whatever, the end of March, I posted the video. So I just really wasn't that keen on that video. I'm letting you guys in a little bit, a little bit on the Leah Levon secret. I wasn't that fond of that and I'm not fond of the video I'm posting Friday uh, the hourglass foundation review I didn't love that foundation but I didn't love that video either oopsie but that comes out on Friday um, and I, if you can tell I have the main concept beach curl hair in that video I haven't had that hair in since November that was my birthday hair and we are again in March so letting you guys know these are videos that have been sitting on the shelf for a while that just because I've been in transition from going to one job to the next job and trying to get ready and trying to refocus and everything I'm just putting out kind of old content new to you guys old to me that I've been sitting on so don't judge me too hard on these videos but in April I'm coming with some fire I know I start a new job but the video content that I got prepared for April now I could be so disappointed and be like uh oh everything was garbage but I got some fire coming y'all way just be on the lookout for the fire but that's my vlog like I sit here and then my night is basically uploading this video you know Buffy has been fed for the night. I'm going to switch over. Maybe watch a show or two. Today is Wednesday. I gave up on Empire, so I don't watch that anymore. But I'll find something. Find something to watch. And then I'm going to be in bed. Like, y'all be wanting these vlogs. But I'll start vlogging more when I have more going on. But when it's like... Monday through Friday, just know the girl behind Leah Levon and the screen that you guys see and the videos that you guys see, I need I need a life. Let me know down below in the comments, what do y'all do? Like, if y'all are single in your later 20s, mid to late 20s, and you have a fun life, what do you do? If you don't have kids or anything, what do you do? Let me let me in on that secret because I feel left out over here. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram at LeahLavon89 because you would have been known. Everybody been shooting me in my DMs and like, girl, this has been the longest two weeks of your life. Everybody knew about my two weeks notice. Everybody been knowing about what's going on in my life. You don't if you don't follow me on social media. Make sure you're following me on Snapchat. I do share some stuff on Snapchat too. So follow me there, Mr. Leah89, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.